the shuttle in the left bank with wings angled about uh, 57 degrees to horizontal. In Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure messages and we did not copy your last. Roger, uh, The shuttle Columbia soared over North Texas this morning. There were two amateur photographers on the ground recording the event with home video cameras. Little did they know they would capture the images of one of our nation's greatest tragedies. Fox 4's Shirley Washington joins us with their story. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia. When the Space Shuttle Columbia lifted off January 16th, amateur photographer Dan McNew couldn't wait for its triumphant return to Earth. I knew the Space Shuttle was going to be re-entering re this morning, so uh, I got up, I uh, got my camera out. McNew planned to capture the fantastic sight of Columbia's homecoming on tape. And I videotaped these things in the past, but usually they're at nighttime, because they're more spectacular at nighttime, it lights up the sky. I never videotaped one during the daytime. So uh, it was a nice clear day. Standing in the driveway of his home in the colony north of Dallas, McNew started recording. He was excited when he saw Columbia come into view. As it was coming in, I, I noticed the, the trail looked a little bit different. I, I wasn't zoomed in all the way, but I knew the trail, the contrail looked a little bit different. And it kept coming like a little burst as it was coming in. But it wasn't long before his excitement was replaced with tremendous fear after witnessing a horrific sight. When I zoomed in, I, I saw several different pieces, but I thought my camera was out of focus, so I kept on videotaping it. I was having flashbacks in 1986, uh, only this time it was a re-entry problem instead of a launch. Both of these photographers are avid space fans who have watched shuttle launches and returns for years. They are also huge supporters of NASA and of the brave men and women who travel and work in space. My heart goes out to the families of the, of the astronauts, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to find what caused the problem and resolve it. That, of course, is NASA's mission as it tries to cope with such a tremendous tragedy. In Dallas, Shirley Washington, Fox 4 News. 4 News first brought you this home video of the shuttle tragedy shortly after it happened. Now this tape is going to be analyzed by NASA. When the space shuttle flew over North Texas, several amateur photographers here and all across the Southwest, for that matter, were recording the event with their home video cameras including the man who shot this from his home in Palm Springs, California, early Saturday morning. One of the, them has, and one of them has gone an extra mile to make his images available to NASA immediately, and Fox 4's Shirley Washington has more on that. It looks like I've got, really got something here that may actually help them figure out what, what, what happened to the shuttle. Amateur photographer Dan McNew is hoping the images he captured of Columbia just seconds before it disintegrated over the skies of North Texas will provide NASA with clues to help determine what led to the shuttle's demise. There, there aren't many clues out there right now, and that's why when I saw what I had here, my heart just dropped, thinking, I, I know they want to see this. McNew downloaded the pictures he took with his home video camera and the put them on a I'm special website so that NASA will have immediate access to them. Administrators have made it clear they want Lord. as much information about the tragedy as they can get. I want to emphasize the point that we want to get every last shred of evidence, whether it be documentation, whether it be witness statements, whether it be physical evidence that may have 
fall into the ground and put that into the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle that we will start to assemble so that we can identify the root cause. The shuttle is turned. Dr. Ray Askew, a former space station chief scientist, logged on to McNew's website and studied his pictures. He believes they will be helpful in the investigation. They could use this to find when the shuttle was in fact beginning to turn, beginning to look in a different direction. It would require more expertise than a physicist or an engineer in general has. Hundreds of people have already sent pictures and videotapes of Columbia to NASA. McNew also sent his home videotape to them, hoping his images will help find the cause of the disaster and prevent another one from happening. In Dallas, Shirley Washington, Fox 4 News. And you are asked if you have pictures or videotape of Columbia, then please send it to the Public Affairs Office, Johnson Space Center, 2101 NASA Road 1, Houston, Texas, 77058.